Morning, YouTube friends and family. Welcome to my second season. Main vlog 2.0, right, Godzilla? Hey. 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 Uh. <laughs> you silly duck. <laughs> He's nipping at my heels. Ah, so today I'm kind of excited. I am heading to Mount Desert Island, which is home to Bar Harbor and Acadia National Park, to uh, make to have two meetings at the College of the Atlantic. One is at their um, farm, their learning uh, farm, and one is with the president of the college. I may have a very big opportunity up there in uh, the coming months and years uh, and that I'm going to explore today. I don't know much more about it than that. I don't want to speculate much more than that or say much more than that. I want to, I'm going up there to learn about the opportunity today and then I can sort of reveal to you what's going on. Hey, thanks for coming with me on my day. I guess I should unload all that crap out of my car so I'm not toting hundreds of pounds of gear all over the state. I got 6.75 fluid ounces, 6.75 fluid ounces. Just listening to the news again, it's not politics really, it's just about how crazy and nasty people are all over the world. I mean, a lot of us are so very wonderful, but some of us are extremely nasty. I'm just thinking about the chemical weapons, you know, attack in Syria and then the United States response blasting 59 missiles, you know, at an airbase that is being used again already. You know, it's like, it gets me that humans are so readily accepting of weaponry and warfare and armature. That's just, for me, that's a major problem with the human animal. Some people see it as survival of the fittest and just part of like humanity, not me. From my perspective, it's how do we control the weapons? How do you control a chemical weapon? Who's making the chemicals for these chemical weapons? Who owns a beachfront property due to their profit from the sale of chemical weapons? That's what I wanna know. Because those are the truly dastardly people in this whole scenario. The Syrians, yeah, some of them are bad, you know? Americans, some of them are bad too. But the ones that are profiting from the sale of chemical weapons, come on. All right, I am on site here at the Beach Hill Farm, which is the College of the Atlantic's organic farm, six acres, a lot of cool production stuff happening here. I am looking at the farmhouse today, and in particular, this basement. Basement man to the rescue. Um, I'm gonna try to come up with, you know, I did an energy audit here, uh, was it 12 years ago? 
and some of the improvements have been made, but they're looking to take it to the next level um, and want me to keep in mind that they may down the road want to put a root cellar in here. So let's check out this dank dark hole. Do you see that? The spray foam has completely pulled away from the concrete wall. They might have installed it when it was wet. They might have installed it when it was cold. They might not have cleaned it off. Cool thing about this basement is it is about nine feet tall which is like two plus meters. So there's plenty of headroom uh, to bring up the level of the floor with some crushed stone so it can drain, create a good level, uh, get some good vapor barrier in here and drainage. Uh, I have a whole plan for this space now. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a quick peek around, make sure I'm not missing anything. some photos around the exterior at the grade the way the ground slopes around the building right this building the ground kind of is flat or it slopes a little bit towards the building that and there's a distinct lack of gutters along the eaves here which would help reduce the amount of water that falls at the foot of the foundation easy and it's one o'clock my next appointment is at two o'clock on the College of the Atlantic campus you know I've done a lot of work for the college in the past um, I energy audited almost every one of their campus buildings you know the College of the Atlantic is arguably one of the most environmentally conscious and progressive campuses in the country so um, they're continually striving to make what they do more ecologically sound. So right now there is a, uh, a move to get off carbon, period. Carbon, car not carbon neutral, carbon free campus. Um, so I, I can help with that for sure. All right, off to Bar Harbor. This is where I just have my meeting with the president of the college, the director of buildings and grounds, uh, the academic dean. Um, there were some pretty high power folks there. It was a really good meeting. I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about it right now until I have a chance to digest it and understand more about what happened and then let some events happen and then I'll let you guys know what's going on. But um, 
This is where I went to college. Did you know that? This is like the college's flagship building. This was a summer home built in 1895. Can you believe it? A summer home. All right, I'm gonna take you guys down to the pier so we can check out the bay. Uh, it's a beautiful afternoon to see the ocean. Typically there's a big gangplank that comes down and like a, a dock out there that they moor boats to. Um, I just want to tell you that, one, you know, this is where I went to school. There was one year, the last, last two years of school I went to here, um, we had a challenge, my friend and I, my friends and I, to swim in the ocean every month of the year. So we would come down to this pier. Um, there was typically a little bit of inebriation that occurred in order to embolden oneself to jump into the ocean in November, December, January, February, March, and April, and even really in May. <laughs> but we had a lot of fun down here. There's just imagine having, you know, this is your campus with the, you know, Atlantic Ocean and Frenchman's Bay right here and Acadia National Park in your other backyard. It was really an idyllic place to attend college. So, hey, if you have any desire to help save the world, and you like going to a small college with under 350 students and you think that living on the coast of Maine might be nice, College of the Atlantic could be your college. Well, I am on the road heading back home. I had a great day at the College of the Atlantic. Uh, I got a long drive in front of me, but that's okay. I had a good day nonetheless. To tell you something. You'll see that in my description now um, I have an email address that is mv for main blog mvtipjar dot no wait mvtipjar at gmail.com. You can use that email address only if you want to and feel compelled to make a donation to main blog. And the main reason that I set this up so that people can make a PayPal donation is because a number of you have actually asked me, can you set up a PayPal account so that we can make a donation to your vlog? So um, I'm not soliciting money at all. I don't really believe in soliciting money. I really love it when people decide on their own to give. So. Thank you very much for being inspired to give to, to my blog, and now you have an avenue to do that. <laughs>